having the social economy is not yet embedded and we still have some way to go, certainly in the UK and I think across the world. And that is another reason why conferences like this one are so important. It's also why global champions are vital. So when Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton and Mohamed Yanis and Christina Lagarde, the head of the IMF, and, you, and indeed your own Prime Minister, are recognising the value of social businesses, that is very important. So as well as global leaders recognising the importance of the social economy, we want global businesses to do the same too, and to learn and apply the values that drive the social economy. I think Malaysia has such a fantastic opportunity. Uh, people have been telling me, oh, but we don't measure this yet, we don't know how to do this, and we're, we're so young. I think that's an opportunity. I think you don't have the baggage that some of those older organisations have. You have the ability to embed social value measurement at the core of what you do, embedding it into the DNA from the outset. Building bridges in, uh, in Malaysia, whereas other countries are talking about building walls. So that's really what sets them apart from any other government organisation I've dealt with. We worked with them first in the Burundi Berganda Innovation Challenge to measure the impact of 12 uh, non-profits that they were working with and then we moved on to working with them on a social finance roadmap for the country which is really um, a cornerstone of the 11th Malaysia plan seeing how private sector investment and social finance can play a role in achieving sustainable development for the country. Many conferences I went to not a lot of audience can ask questions they find it really dry over here is economy and people ask me a lot of questions so it's, it proves that the panel are doing very well.